This week's frigid weather caused problems all over southeast Michigan, and that includes the library in Shelby Township. The burst pipes caused damage in several areas, and the cleanup will be extensive. And as Nick Monticelli reports making things worse, the library is just less than a year old. We'll talk about what happened inside of the Shelby Township Library in just a moment, but just as devastating to those in this community is the fact that the building is closed for who knows how long, because they say this week would have been one of their busiest weeks of the year. We are heartbroken. We really are. That's Katie Esther, Shelby Township's library director, and she says pipes freezing and damaging the building could not have happened at a worse time. This is the week when people would be filling up the library because they're looking for a place to study away from home or a way to get away from the kids who are at home all week. But Mother Nature had other plans on Christmas Eve. Temperatures dropped so far below freezing that the pipes burst inside. There's extensive damage. The technology lab, adult nonfiction section, meeting rooms, back offices, and staff areas. In a statement, Township Supervisor Rick Stathicus says, I'm glad that we have the proper insurance protection in place with proper coverage for the property and the library's contents. I'm proud of the proactive immediate response from the fire department, police department, maintenance crews, and the library staff to immediately stop the bleeding and begin the process of remediation and work on a timetable to reopen our beautiful library. How this happened is still under investigation. The building is brand new. It opened this summer. So the township is aggressively working to figure out why the heat shut off, leading to the busted pipes and then leading to this. Insurance will cover the damages, allowing the library to reopen, making it safe to get inside again. I promise it will be as soon as we can. We don't like to be closed any longer than we absolutely have to be. And as far as that reopening goes, they say they will let everybody know in every which way they can. Social media, the news, recorded messages on the phone lines. They want people to come back as quickly as possible. We're in Shelby Township. Nick Monticelli, Local 4.